Welcome friends to beginners bioinformatics series. Let's learn some more fundamentals. In our last video we learned that genomics deals with the study of genome and genome is the haploid set of genetic information. This genetic information is deciphered by codes made up of DNA and RNA sequences which are also known as nucleotide sequences. Collection of nucleotide sequences is found in various primary nucleotide databases. In this video, we will focus on three important primary nucleotide databases and will learn by demonstration of an example how to retrieve nucleotide data from them. Primary nucleotide databases are those databases which receive data derived from DNA sequencing experiments and this data is submitted directly by researchers into databases such as GenBank, European Nucleotide Archive or ENA and DDBJ or DNA Data Bank of Japan. Similarly, protein sequences and protein 3D structures which are solved by various experiments are submitted to primary protein databases such as Uniprot KB for sequences and Protein Data Bank or PDB for structures. This data remains in the primary databases as scientific records. The nucleotide databases are very important as nucleotide sequences represent evolutionary process more directly than any other biological materials and thus are invaluable not only for research in life sciences but also human welfare in general. The three primary nucleotide databases, GenBank, ENA, and DDBJ, together constitute a virtually unified database called International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration or INSDC. Each data entry in these databases receives a unique accession number and can be accessed using this number. New data by researchers can be received at any of the partner sites and is synchronized and updated on a daily basis. Thus the three data centers share virtually the same data at any given time. We will first learn briefly about these three primary new databases and then we'll check how using one accession number which I've chosen as HQ91271.5.1 used here as an example, you can retrieve same data from any of these three databases. The data formats will be different though. There is a practice question at the end of this video which you can attempt to check the data retrieval. GenBank is the primary nucleotide sequence database established in 1982 at National Center for Biotechnology Information or NCBI located in National Institutes of Health NIH in USA. GenBank maintains an annotated collection of all publicly available DNA sequences. Data can be searched and retrieved using Entray which is a search and retrieval engine at NCBI. GenBank consists of several divisions and except for EST and GSS divisions all others can be ac accessed through the nucleotide database search. NCBI now hosts nucleotide database which has a collection of nucleotide sequences from several sources including GenBank. Besides, we have ref sequence and third party annotation TPA database and PDB also contributing to this database. We can type an accession number in the text box as you can see here on the arrow and search we can also use the advanced search option for more specific search results. In our next video, we will learn how to use advanced search options in nucleotide database of NCBI. ENA is European Nucleotide Archive developed and maintained by European Molecular Biology Laboratory at European Myoinformatic Institute also known as EMBL-EBI. ENA contains a comprehensive data of high-level genome assemblies, assemble sequences, and their functional annotation from around the world. 
The EMBL or EMBL Bank is a nucleotide sequence database and is a part of the ENA. Here is the home page for ENA where by typing an accession number or gene name in the text search box, data can be retrieved. DDBJ is located at National Institute of Genetics NIG, in Mishima, Japan and as a member of INSDC provides freely available nucleotide sequence data. It also supports in silico experiments in carrying out research in information biology and to run DDBJ operation in the world. At Bioinformation and DDBJ Center homepage, data retrieval can be done by clicking on Get Entry under Search. Typing the same accession number or gene name in the text box will retrieve data. Let's search these three databases using the same query accession number which was HQN912715.1 and see whether we retrieve the same data. First type the accession code in the text search field of ENA and press search. There are two results displayed here. The top one is the same as query accession number but the second result is a closely related sequence to the query. Clicking on the first result link will display the details including source organism, molecule type and size, source features, production, publication details etc. Similarly in GenBank, nucleotide sequence search can be done by typing the same accession number which will retrieve the same sequence details as we saw in ENA and same results you will find in DDPJ. Each of these databases offer sequences for the nucleotides as well as other gene features. Also advanced search features and filters are included to make the searches more precise. In our next video we will be learning how to perform advanced search for GenBank nucleotide database of NCBI and will understand gene features table using example demonstration. Till then you practice this given accession number X69490.1 and check out the three primary nucleotide databases and check whether the information retrieved is the same. Hopefully you found this information useful. Hope you are enjoying these tutorials. If you are enjoying, please like and subscribe to my channel.